Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. In this episode, I'm hopefully going to finish Sector 8, um, as there are only two tasks left in the sector. By the way, there's still this uh, tasks of Sector 8.2 that's not yet finished to my complete to my satisfaction. I don't have the full skill rating yet, even though I have a working solution. So if you, if you have any ideas comments, just have a look at what I did and tell me what I can do better to get the full skill rating. For now, let's continue with task 8.7. We're supposed to capture a code fragment that gets in two numbers, a height and a width, and is supposed to return a string. And for the string, uh, for the numbers 3 and 3 for height and width, we're going to suppose we're supposed to return this very string. Um, yes, so this is somehow similar to the task we solved before. So I'm going to build up the very same structure we had before, like adding the spaces in between and removing the leading space in the end because there's only intermediate spaces here, no leading or trailing space. And then we're going to create this individual substring, so only this numbers of uh, characters in here in a second inner loop, which is going to have a loop variable j. j is, since it uses width out here, probably height uh, in here, and loop over it like that. Okay, now I'm not exactly sure what I am supposed, what kind of characters I'm supposed to insert here. I'll put, so sometimes I'm supposed to add an X and sometimes I'm supposed to add an O, but I'm not entirely sure in which case I'm supposed to add what. Um, it's an x for the 1, an x for the 2, an x for the 3. So if i equals j at least, I'm supposed to add an x. And in the other case, I'm supposed to add an o. That's not true, because actually it's... <laughs> Just a wild guess saying that if math apps j minus i equals one, then add an o, otherwise add an x, which is saying um, use an x except your one step away from my current position, which is in this case the first, so one step away is an O, the other one is not printed, not added. In this case it's the two, one step before, one step after, and in this case it's three, where it's again one step before and the after one is not appended. So this should fulfill this test case at least, but maybe there's more test cases to come that will negate my theory and actually there is more test cases to come. The first thing I recognize is that I actually flipped numbers, which is very nice of you Microsoft, because it just followed your example. But maybe you have another solution um, where this is not necessary. So let me see if I flip these two, what happens to the result. So this time the strings look more similar but it's not yet the solution I expected. Interestingly enough, what I see now is that X and O are actually alternating. So it's always one X, one O, one X, one O, one X, one O. And it's like that everywhere. So maybe it's just saying... Um, let me get this right. 
So it is I plus J modulo two equals um, in this in this case it's zero and zero. So zero and zero. So it should be like that. Let me see if that the theory of mine is correct, which it actually isn't. Why isn't it? Is there? Uh, maybe that modulo has a higher priority than the uh, plus operator. So it might be wrong like this, and now it's exactly flipped, right? So I got it wrong after all. So maybe it works now after some trying around. That is where test cases really help. And actually it worked and it even is an elegant solution. So let's continue to the last task of sector 8, nested loops. Can you create a number palindrome? Which is what? We get in a number and return a string and the palindrome is supposed to be 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1. And yeah, okay. I got that point. So what am I supposed to do? I have I walk over this string like one time. And then I should actually walk over it again, but backwards. Anyways. Let's first do our routine with the spaces and the substring sub thing at the end, just to have that completed. And then we have another loop, which is J, starting from 1. Yeah, let's do it consistent. Smaller equals number j plus plus and we're going to add to the output just by the number of times we have it so this should get us the the string up to the up to the highest no it doesn't of course it doesn't it's supposed to only work up until i. This should give us now the the prefix till the middle number and now we're, we're supposed to do the same thing but only backwards. So I could copy the whole loop thing but I think I want to factor this one out say public static string upper int i this is what I want to get in here we have a string oops a string output start with an empty string this stuff is added and in the end I'm going to return the output just like that plus equals h i and then I'm going to copy only this one which starts at number goes to bigger zero and with minus minus and does no, it does not start at number. It starts at number minus one. This should capture the whole thing, even if probably not yet with a high skill rating because the solution is somewhat ugly. Okay, um, Microsoft managed to surprise me again. Actually, this solution gets the highest skill rating already, which is really, really strange considering for what kind of solutions I did not get the full skill rating before. But I do not complain. I'm just happy with having the full skill rating for this task and this solution. And since this is, as far as I see it, the last 
task of sector 8. This is it for now. I thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode where I'm going to start with sector 9, the 1D race. If you like this episode, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter. I post regular updates on what I do. And if you have any feedback or any ideas what I can do, um, please let me know. Just drop me a comment or send me a message um, so that I can improve in what I do and produce more contents that are interesting for you. You also might want to have a look at the uh, other contents I'm producing, like the Let's Develop with Maven and Eclipse, or the Let's Develop uh, Conway's Game of Life, where I do a lot more developing software development related stuff, and I'm sure you can take something from it if you're into software development. For so long, I wish you to have a good time, and I hope to see you on the next episode. Goodbye!